Hey guys, you're watching Zoom on My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. You guys really want a bowling alley. It's not something that's really ever gone away. And this is about the only last green spot that we've got left. It's like like a bit of a dodgy plot because it's on a bit of a hill. Um, <laughs> but it's the only sort of plot that we've really got left that would be suitable-ish for a bowling alley. Now, the problem is, is it's on a hill, look. It comes off from the mountain here and then it sort of tapers off uh, down here. So one of your suggestions from, from you guys was to build it into the mountain. So build it this way uh, and have the, the what are they called, um, aisles? Would they put the lanes? Sorry, yeah, lanes would be a better word for it. Uh, going into the mountain, which would be a smashing idea and could look really cool apart from the road or, or the tunnel isn't actually look all that far into the uh, the mountain here it's only about i don't know 15 12 15 blocks deep which isn't really all that much when you think about it but i've had a think because we sort of left it at that for a while but i'm thinking if we just remove this tapered bit of land and we just put in like a wall it's only look what is it in fact it's like one two three four five five slash six blocks high that's all it is and we, we do like a little stone brick wall that comes around here almost like it's holding the mountain in i think it could be quite a nice feature and then that way we can have the bowling alley this way we've got a little space here for a road to come in we can have a car park here and then the buildings start about here and then we've got all the room that we need now width wise it's not the greatest amount okay you know we're gonna fit i don't know four lanes in maybe five lanes in i don't really know um but there's definitely enough length ways for what we want to do uh and then we just get as many lanes in as as we dare really so let's turn these shaders off and try to do this in a relatively speedy way because I've had a couple of slow episodes, really. The last two episodes uh, were a little bit slow trying to work out that interior hub thing for the server. I just get so many ideas going with interiors, but I can never sort of put them down fast enough. Really struggle with it. But let's um, let's go up here. Now we want to go about five or six blocks up. Set air. Okay, that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good. And then if we go from there. to here replace oops grass with air i'm doing it like this now so i don't um remove the building near me because i know i've got some of that selected uh, like that and dirt there's only like an extra command in there that should be good okay now if we grab ourselves a stone brick i think just on its own this is, will become like a bit of a little feature really so if we go up to well i really needed to go up to a minimum of, of that one right and then what do we come out if i come out one block just one and I'll show you why a little bit down the line. See, this can now be a straight shot all the way over here. We're leaving a one block gap just so I can drop down on the mountain, basically. That's the only reason. And if we do it to here, set 98. Yeah, what's this? This is a little gap for. Well, at the top here, look what we can do is we can just taper this down a little bit. And that way we get the block, just the, the wall, just sitting one block up higher. I think it just looks a little bit better. Oops. And then we'll go down another one here. Try and keep it looking a little bit natural behind the wall. Okay. Let's flick over here real quick. And what is it looking like? Yeah, I think it can work. It doesn't need to have anything special because like, the building's going to be next to it. So it's going to hide up most of it anyway. So no, we don't need to do nothing like some sort of medieval design or anything weird like that on it. It should just be okay. But what we can do is then just... I think I want to do something like... 
something like this and it just slowly drops down in height so we have like this one goes up to that height and then this one goes up to that height and then that one and then that one and then that one. Yeah, it just sort of drops away nicely Fill up the ins the back side here. And maybe a little slab just run along top. I think just to cap it off. You know it's a bit of an annoying one, but I might actually on the block un oops on the block under the slab, like that level that I just deleted there. I might flip to be like an inverted stair of the same type. It's just a little, it, it's such a small detail, but it, it, it'll it just make everything sort of pop a little bit. Okay. Start dropping this down on this side. What was it? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one. One, two, one, two, three. I think it was something like it. That's, I think that's how it was on the other side. Like that. I think that went all the way though. And then it started to drop down. This side lines up a lot better though. Like that. And like that. And then like that. And then like that. Okay, that'll all grow back. That'll be changed to that. And then that goes in here. Yeah, let's just have a quick look. Look, I'll just see. Stairs. Yeah, see, that'll, that would really work. Um, might be able to cheese this a little bit. Oops. Uh, looks like I can cheese it a little bit. If I just sort of run along here, pasting every six or so blocks. Should get most of the hard work. If I've skipped a couple, it doesn't really matter. But I don't think I have, because I can see the... Uh, I can sort of see a little bit of shadow changing, because obviously it's a transparent block. Yes, good little cheat that was. Uh, to do this bit, I think we can just maybe even fold them back on the edges. Probably be the easiest way. Not quite sure how we'll do that one. I could probably just get away with that. And then leave. Uh, no, I can't do that one either. Yeah, I can get away with that. I can do, I, I can live with that. Let's do the other side. And then we can make all of this grass and then think about the layout for our bowling alley. I always say bowling pitch early. I've got a feeling I've said bowling pitch this episode. And that certainly isn't the correct terminology. A bowling pitch. Uh, ooh, look at that. Whoa. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I'd, I've never seen that before. That was like a proper, a proper glitch. Okay, sweet. That's holding that back. I think that looks pretty nice, right? If we stand back, it's a little bit basic and a little bit bland, but it does the job. It's holding all of that back well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go with that then. Let's probably trim that part away as well. Look, there's no point in this being here. flattens this out and then this path that's just to the right of me I think will um will blend in better as well you see yeah that's much neater we can do whatever we like there then all right let's go from here and we'll go all the way up we'll do it all in one hit we'll make the computer really work 
It shouldn't be that bad anyway. From there to there. Replace dirt with grass. Uh, replace... Oops, two stash. Replace stone with grass. And that should have got everything right. Oh, probably shouldn't have done there. And replace grass with stone. Ta-da, fixed. Okay, good. Makes it look a lot neater. Actually now a bit of a usable plot. Let's think about a layout. Now I think the smartest way to do this would be to actually place the back wall down first. And then work forward. Smooth this part out here. You bring that down out a little bit. There's a little dot here that's just annoying me. Take that away. Need to have some sort of edging here onto uh, this part of the world as well. Like that's that's a super straight line. That shouldn't really be that straight. It looks wrong, um, but it just needs an embankment or a tree line. I could probably just continue the, that tree line all the way around here, and that would look pretty good. But yeah, if we start on on this layer here. We'll get, I expect it'll probably be made out of clay. Um, probably a lightish colour. Might go a, a, a light sort of white colour and a reddy colour sort of thing. I think that blends in quite well in the end. We've got a little bit of red in that building. Yeah. Uh, we don't really want to go any wider than this because then it gives us a one block set out that still doesn't touch the wall. Uh, I don't really want to go any further back than I think this line here. And I don't want to go any wider. We don't have to use the entire width. This has sort of given us a bit of a guide. Ooh, already gone too wide. I don't really want to go any wider than that. Because then it gives us a two block wide sort of edge there. Where they're clear. Okay. So that's our, our width that we have available. Still actually quite big really. It, it, it's a decent size. If we just have a quick imagine in here. If we grab like a slab. And we grab some walls. We can do the old classic style of bowling sort of thing. You could have uh, let's let's do it properly. Something like so. You'd I, I'd use oak for this. You'd have a a walkway here at the minimum. So let's just pretend that we've got a walk. Ooh, we've got a walkway here. Okay. Now we're thinking we're thinking like very basic interior here. And then you'd have the gutter. You would have one, probably one block. And then a gutter. And then that would be your bowling line. Yeah. You could, we could add another one. And have it a, have it a bit wider. Does that feel better? Let's stand out. I think actually, probably realistically wise, width wise, that would be more, more what it feels like. Yeah. Okay, so you'd have that like that. That would be the gutter. That would be the gutter. At the end here, you'd have something like I don't know how you would do the pins. I'd probably do something like that to give us the impression that there's bowling pins down there. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe we can think of something a little bit more specific at the time. I don't think I don't think you'd want to go any wider. Oops. That feels too wide. That feels like uh like it's too wide of a of a of a bowl. So you'd have it like that. And then you'd have to have some sort of central block, like some sort of uh barrier down the middle to divide up the two. Maybe that would be a little bit tall. Maybe you just use a slab instead. Again, I don't know why we're going. We, we don't need to go into too much detail here. But this is going to sort of depend on how wide the building is. So you have to have a little bit of a think. Have it like that. And then you'd have stair. Block, block, stair. And then you'd have stair, block, block, stair. So it's four blocks. And then that. Stair, block, block, stair. And then the two clay blocks like we had on the other side. 
And we were one block out on our estimation. One block. I'll take a one block out. So how many do we, does that give us? That gives us one, two, three, four lanes. That's what we estimated that we were going to have. So I think I think we can take that. Now if we run this down here. Uh, okay, let's do an estimate. Let's say the bowling. It's not even going to be that long, I don't think. It's going to be It's pretty difficult to sort of tell how long you'd want this to be. Set plank. Would that feel like about the right distance? You know, that's not too far off, is it? Maybe a couple more blocks. I think that feels about... About right. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go with that. I'd go with that. So that would be the length of the bowling, like alley. Uh, but then you'd want some kind of wall well you well actually you've got uh something like chairs behind let's do some couches so i can remember when i come back to this next episode you'd have something like or at least on, on the one near me you have like couches like this at the end of each one um yeah like that just trying, I'm just trying to make sure it's all lined up right. Yeah, the end of each one there. And then at my local bowling ring, there's a sort of a wall. And on this wall are like a load of shelves. And the bowling balls are on the shelf. And this is where you come and you grab the bowling balls that you need. And then you come to the middle here. I, I tell you what we do have a sort of issue with is being an even number it makes it a little bit tricky this isn't far enough back is it i need to move that back further i'll tell you why because you need the uh you need the spot for where the bowling balls come to like that middle that middle area just do a design on this one stair you need something like this would work great if the stairs are the right way oh they are see if that's going to be there you'd want something like Ah, nah, it doesn't work. I think we'll go with that design, but we just can't go with that block. Maybe we'll just go with a, a nice, simple quartz. You see, and that's where the bowling balls would come up to. But because it's an even number, it's a little bit of a tricky... Um, it's a little bit of a tricky sort of shape. Do you know what I mean? Well, that sort of works, but again, we have to move it back even further now. Um, cut. Uh, two slashes. Paste. I think I can just do slash P and it works as well. Oops, didn't do the top bit. That wasn't right either. something like that i'm just trying to make it so it looks like the ball sort of run out to it i don't know would one block be easy though probably not it would still look it would still look awkward mm. but then if we do with one we could probably use player heads ah oh, i really think we should probably go to one block and have it like that all there's a lot of working out for nothing but that would you know what we're gonna go with one block we're gonna go with one block let's readjust this you got to get it right to begin with uh at the moment i'll just put grass underneath here just so i don't forget about that um these go in here and here then we have that in the middle might also i suppose on the bright side get out a uh, an extra lane if we can looks looks like we'll be able to that one and i tell you what i oh, know that's right isn't it so it still it still worked out to be the same 
distance between? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's worked out to be the same width, which I'll take. We've got an extra lane out of it. And we could then do something uh, a little bit cooler looking. Um, quartz. Like that. And I don't know, something like this. A bit of a long. I think that's probably better. And then we could, uh, if we actually had, like blocks for it, uh, skelly. Can't fit one under there. If I do it this way, it might not be as bad. See, it looks like two bowling balls are waiting on there for us. We could. I know this. That they're they're mob heads, right? But we we can actually do custom player heads that look like bowling balls. And uh, and it, we pick them up like that. Have like three little holes in them, and and that could work. Again, probably need to move it back a little bit further. But the idea is there. Okay, very quickly now, because we're running out of time. We'll have the chair. Because we've changed, we've made it smaller again, so we'd only have one block between it. But they are usually quite tight anyway. Chair there and chair there, all the way down. We then have the wall that we were talking about. We could probably put player heads on the wall as well. That would be really cool. Um, uh, and then this area uh, at mine is like a reception desk here. So so you'd have this wall all the way along. And then there's like a reception where you buy your tickets. There's usually like chairs again on this side to be able to put your shoes on and stuff with like little areas to come down into Oops. again it's not lined up right but it'll give us an idea like that and this is where you buy your your lane and then this is like a hallway that comes down to the front door and on this side is a little kitchen area where you can buy like drinks and stuff I think that's a pretty good layout we can bring it out to about here you'd have probably bathrooms like that something like this that works out quite well that's all kitchen like I said let's go back to the other clay now for the exterior and the front would be here nice hole yeah that that works out fine for me i'm happy with that put this down here a little bit of a rectangular building uh at the moment do you know what i mean there's no interesting pop-out parts anything to make it look uh, a little bit more unique uh, oh ah i tell you what we've forgotten though oh uh, we might be okay actually we need the spot behind here to uh uh, like access I think if we just push this out by a couple of blocks here we definitely got the room to you see we left a little bit of space here like like where the staff oh, hiccups staff and stuff go behind to fix any like issues that they they can't you know pins falling down or whatever um, but yeah that'll work so as it's a bit of a square area Maybe we come up to the reception desk here. Or maybe just after the reception desk. No, we go up to the reception desk. Let's drop it in here. And then drop it back. So the reception's got a little bit smaller. But now the toilets aren't quite as, as long. And quite as hard to fill. And gives the shape of the building just a little bit more character. Yeah? A little bit more character to it. I don't know what you'd fill up that space with. But that could work. It looks like we've done absolutely nothing today, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like there's no progress. Uh, but that should give us enough room now for the driveway. Or, or road, even. It's not even a driveway, it's a road. Uh, would come in here. And then this would go to the car park. I like still like the dividing wall from the um, hotel. In fact, I might leave three blocks or so between... If we... If we even put another fake wall here down just again so I know what it is. Leave three blocks of grass here. And 
add to there. And then we can have some trees going down the middle here. Just trees, just to divide up the two car parks. That's plenty big enough for a car park. Little access way through there. Some nice trees, some nice benches, something like that. It's quite a nice sort of building for it to be located behind. Yeah, that could work. That's actually going to be a really fun one. We have to do an interior to the bowling alley as well, don't we? We don't really have a choice. Um, I would like to have, like, uh, maybe along here... Um, a big bowling pin and ball, bowling ball. I remember doing it on one of the uh, on the old. I think it was the the last city series that we done back on Xbox. We had a very sort of similar thing. I had something like this, and then I can't remember the exact dimensions or anything, but it would have been something along the lines of this it's like a, uh, a bowling pin here gonna be a bit of tuning i think for the shape hey that's working actually i can already see a pin appearing here and then that one just have a stand back, see what we... Yeah. Uh, like this. Yeah, getting there. Not quite, but it's getting there. It's actually really really close um i think i need to drop that down even more it's either it's either i've got to drop this red one down or the white bit down i don't know which one it is let's drop this down and we'll just take a quick look at this hey that's probably the closest yet but i'm thinking let's drop this down shorten the pin up a little bit I think that's as close as I can get on that scale. So there's a pin there, and then you'd have a bowling ball next to it, so you'd have to do something like a cyan clay for this. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to do it there or there. And again, tricky shape to do. I think maybe you'd go full simple with this. Like that. It's probably not quite the right scale. Uh -huh. Like that. No, that could work. That could work. There. Oh, yeah, because... Ah, yeah. Mm, it is awkward, actually. Unless we do it squished. Like, I could make it look okay from the front by doing it like this. But... See, from the front, that, that looks about right. But then from the side, it looks a little bit squished. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That would actually work. That would actually work. Um, how many blocks is that? One block spare. Should be along here. And then... Okay, good. One block spare. So that would be... Along here. Um... What block would you put in the middle of that? Probably I'd go with planks to look like the aisle. Okay. So just put these down here. And then a slab, obviously, just to uh, top off the edge. Because you've got to. I'll put them underneath there. Otherwise, everyone will go crazy. Slab. Um, uh, quartz, yeah. Already had one on me. Quartz work. Maybe we um change up a couple of blocks in the bowling ball to black to look like a couple of holes. If we can get three, I will. But I don't think we will quite have enough room. 
It's probably a little bit too dark. We'll go with that one. I think that works. Three holes in there, like finger, finger, thumb hole. Or is that better? It's annoying me that the ball isn't round. It, it's really annoying me that the ball isn't round. That looks all right, though, doesn't it? Hey, I think that'll just when you're when you're sort of coming down the road, you can just see it from there. Then looks like bowling to me. I would say that was uh, that was signified bowling. If you guys enjoyed the episode, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode is going to be really quite cool, actually, building this. Uh, so uh, we shall see you then. Bye.